So I just look at this and they look very similar, but my default page is a weekly activity. That's where most days spend their time. So this one is the uh, Math 611, that's an introduction to analysis for the secondary teachers. Uh, so what's your question? No, I'm sorry. Um, well, and they're up on the board yeah. too. For me, uh, <laughs> so general guideline is this. Uh, I have a weekly activity, so I divide it into uh, all the 16 weeks. And I have one week has just the exam, but it depends on if we offer 2017. So one of those I, I, might end up with the, uh, because they have a fall break or they have a the Thanksgiving break. So later on, there may be some changes because I cannot have a class officially during that period of time. So I, even though I had a weekly activity, so there is eight week is just the exam. So whole week is a blank so that later, later on they can, they can have that. I can have a time adjustment. So uh, first, my design start with a, a module because we I deal with about five big chapters. So each chapter was a one module, but but some chapter takes whole month to finish. So instead of having a module, I went I go back to the weekly activity. So each week they supposed to finish the work. Now, so they the way. So each week, more or less, if you go in the, so it's weeks to me, each week there is a slot for the uh, student, what, it's called a course objective, but it's, the, the big one is a course objective, the small one is, I said, section objective, so they can look at what to study for it, for each section, I highlight it, and so the important thing, they have to look at those. And then after that, there are lecture, uh, lecture, lecture not with a, my video, so it's a voice track, so they can watch it and study for it. And once they finish the uh, lecture, then there is homework, so that they can print out homework, finish the homework, and the homework is, so it's a blank paper, so then they have to do work and then scan it and send back to the, through the, uh, the assignment. So here, uh, click here to submit. I think it will make a link to the, the assignment section. They can go this way, or there is another one. What is this one? Is a assignment. If you go assignment, then it shows the same thing. Home of one, home of two. And then course material. This one, I only accept, I didn't put the avoid graph, but this one is just printed out notes. And that's it. And then calendar is the Whenever I assign homework, that deadline is automatically shows up on calendar, so they know which one, when is deadline, and so forth. And, uh, and then the exam guidelines, so I, I have a two on, on site tests, so that they, they have to arrange the exam to the uh, site, US site or any practice center, and then I have also exam study guide, and then, so they can study for what to study. Now, the, my, my problem was, so here is study guide based on the material I covered, what we need to do and so forth. So I, the way I designed the course, I didn't look at the quality method because I spend 99% of my time actually making all the class materials. It, it, I don't have, I, this one, first time offered, I don't have any uh, online textbook version of it. So from face-to-face to face class into online, so I have to develop all that the material. So that's the I spend most of the time. And then uh, a lot, rest of them is the, uh, now go back to the quality matter to try to see what they're looking for. The most difficult part was my assessment. And how you, so I know the, you know the USI do the assessment rubric, so I mean, Larissa first suggests that assess the rubric for each problem. So I have a 85. <laughs> so I, my total homework is about 850. Yeah. Oh so 85 yeah. points. I don't know. Eight, I don't want to make 85. Yeah. Rubric for each. That's right. So I, I, I my, my, my uh, what is it? Uh, my final solution was. And then your syllabus. Yeah, it's in my syllabus. Yeah, so start here. Or I course material. I put there. 
here is a syllabus that I put it in. So this is the longest syllabus I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> so the course the description on the university bulletin and then the textbooks and the course objectives and learning style set. And then here is the uh, grading policy and the assessment. So that one is actually university core assessment guidelines. So I, I trick it a little bit. So target acceptable and unacceptable is university course three guidelines. But target is, of course, complete work, correct work. And then acceptable, my, mine is not multiple choice. It's all open-ended questions. So 10 points. How many points should I? So these are the, my uh, sort of guidelines that they can, at least they can expect. Just what what to expect. And then course grades and so forth. Uh, and then uh, for the caveat, I don't know, the student knows better, but that's a weekly in the syllabus. I, can, I have the same thing, that's the same as the one start here, that weekly activity here is just title of the sections, what I'm going to cover this week. So they should know what to do. And actually, the uh, year 17, when I do it, I'm going to put the week date, like September 1st. So I'm going to put the, the, the week date underneath of it so they, they, they can match the weeks. Weeks and extra days. And you already have the calendar on Blackboard, so they will know the date. Uh, yes, also I want to put it here. Too. Anyway, yeah. So, and then I, I put the uh, uh, screenshot of the Blackboard, how to log in, because of my, my students are not traditional students. They are the, the, the seasoned old, older students, so they may not have a they use a blackboard line of the old school corporation use blackboard, so they know the blackboard, but it will be different the uh, interface may be different from uh, us. So I put the kind of guidelines, how you get the password, how you log in the blackboard, and how you look for where you look for the weekly activities and how you how you start. So basically here is the main chart. Once you go in the uh, week so here is a chapter description, raise the objective first. And then number two, print note and homework. Sometimes they don't even print notes. So I ask print notes and homework first. And then watch the, the lectures and submit homework. Uh, maybe, maybe that's a value, I guess. And then how to submit. And then rest of them is uh, you provide uh, also discussion work here. Uh, here, that's the question interaction between student and student and student instructor and so forth. Mine is more on uh, instructor and students. We don't have a group project. We don't have a, that kind of thing. So student, student interaction is very limited. They might, but I don't, it's not part of my curriculum. Whenever they have a problems or questions or suggestions or for the discussion board or uh, email. And my policy is I try to answer as soon as possible, but worst case is we need 24 hours. There we go. That's my policy. Okay, so so when developing an online course, of course, first time I'm doing it, I, I was basically uh, I spent hours and hours to spend the, the, the course material. So. Other than that, I, I didn't thought about much the other aspect. And I know that there is a Math 114. They're using the uh, publish providing material. So maybe they spend most of time to how to organize their, their course. My, I, 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 my case, organization was like 10 minutes of that. Yeah. <laughs> but the rest of them is I spent too much, too much time on building materials. And I, the good thing is I still have more time. I can tweak the tiers, yeah. and then I can still adjust that. Even basic, basic guideline is there. Though. And uh, I, I, if I have a chance, I'll make it again. Oh, good. Your organization <laughs> is not bad at all. Right. You, and you spend a lot of time developing material, but the, the structure organization is also very good. And look at your syllabus, so detailed. <laughs> With a beautiful curve of well, arrows. Actually, th this does not take a long time. 
it's the design. It's a it's a the course mode. How yes, to work with yes, course yes, mode? Yes, yeah, that yes. case more time. <laughs> yes. And sometimes maybe my my online course maybe need a book. They they just do the same thing, watch lecture, and then do homework and submit homework, and next week another video lecture and watch it and do homework and so. So it, it's it's well, a very after you teach the class the first time, yeah. then you will have more ideas right, coming right. on how I can make it more interactive and but it, it requires almost three times to get you finally right. feel like but you it, know it, but even in our face to face class it's like it's the same thing. <laughs> Lecture all the way. Okay, here's homework. And the next day collect homework and then lecture all the time. <laughs> well the one thing I, I miss here is the, uh, I cannot see their eyes. Mm -hmm. I cannot see their face. So I cannot see whether they understand the material, why I'm doing the lecture. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that thing is missing. Of course, they can do the homework. I can look at their homework assignment and say, OK, they understand it, whatever. But until then, I, I really have a yeah. no idea. But if you have uh, some very interactive courses, Discussion. You have you have to engage in the discussion, and you can watch what they are doing. How is a maybe a part of the subject is more interesting. You may have served after you teach yeah. the first time. Okay, don't add too many things at one time. Mm -hmm. You may want to consider schedule some online recitation session. Mm -hmm. I remember when I work at a different university, I work with several math professors. They always had this once a month or some sort of recitation. And and that's an opportunity for them to Yeah, and do it online. online. And and if no student at, at that time it was still a telephone with the with the mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a web webcam that yeah, kind of yeah. thing. So so we have a camera record a whole thing. If nobody called, there's a telephone on the professor's right, uh, right. Uh, desk and then we capture the screen. And if nobody calls, the professor has all the questions prepared. So he just kind of pretend there's an audience. He starts to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And then it's all recorded. And once in a while, in the middle of the, the problem, somebody will call, and then he will start answering questions. And I thought, you know, today the technology is definitely more, you know, advanced to deliver that more efficiently. So you may want to consider, in that way, it's almost a way that you can engage your students and maybe in the week one to do some sort of ice breaking not too serious but then so, you know in the so that, that, that's another thing here is the homework that they do how many pages i don't know four or five pages so here, here is homework i expect in this hopefully somebody asked me uh, somebody asked me a question or they post mm -hmm. some of them on discussion then yeah. I can read from there and right. hey, right. look at this, and I can send yes. everybody an announcement. I mean, that's uh, I'm expecting some. Yeah, sometimes discussion boards not that attractive for people to use as a medium. Yeah, so that, I mean, even somebody send me email. Yeah, yeah then you can post on the discussion. I can, board. I can. Yes. Post, I mean, then I, yes. I, I, I can read. And, okay, when you do this problem, why don't you look at this? Problem? You may even using Zoom, right, to capture. That and then just post that video on the discussion board. That could be very interactive as well. So. Yeah. So. so yeah, but don't do too many new things at no, one time. No. Teach right. this the first right. time, just like really bare minimal. And then after you figure out that first time, you will start have so many ideas. And then we welcome you to come back. <laughs> we'll brainstorm with you how to how to make those ideas. So I have true. some idea. Either I I can use a show me or in the voice yes. thread. I yes. can solve a yes. problem and then Definitely. record it and then put it in and then, then I, I have some yeah some idea when that people have great. yeah people yes. have some. Don't so you have a blank slide at the end of all your voice threads yeah. that you can add? I can add yeah, that. You can always keep adding. Yeah, right, yes, so. or create a new one because maybe one is just for learning and mm -hmm. one is for. Here's a frequent ask See, questions. That's the uh, another thing. Uh, it is right now it's a blank, but it, when you do course in material here, I have a section called the solution. So here there is nothing here, but that's the one that when homework one is due. Yes. 
So I'll put the solution in it, yes. or before even I collect it, so like some hint or something I can. So these are the one section I left a blank yeah. canvas so that they can yeah. use it. Yeah, math, this kind of problem solving course is, I think, the first time you need to spend a lot of time building the content. But right. the content stays every year. You pretty much modify a little bit, yeah, but not right. too much. Not too much, right. Then you spend more time to think about how to design the yeah, other so ones. Right, right. The first time will take a little more time. Yeah. So the, I try to write, because it's an online lecture, is there's some limitations. So I try to write my lecture more precise so that even if they, they have a difficulty of the video, they can actually read. Yes. So that's the one. That's also um, fulfilled ADA. Mm -hmm. Right, right, okay. right, right. So, so very it, it, good. mine is more or less all text based. It's yes. all text is there. One thing difference is my video, even like follow the text, but here and there I have some. I don't know which one is the. Uh, Voice off, right? <laughs> Sounds off. Uh, no, because we did hear his. <laughs> so here. Right now it's going on, right? Voice is going on. So when you go to the next page, it's actually when I do the problems, hope you can see it. This is really great. I can see how much time you needed to do this. Right, so I had the notes, only this part. So now I have to fill all this. Yeah. Usually, the face to face class, that's what I'm already on the board. Yeah. But here, I, I wrote all. I'm looking for where you annotate. So here, there. right. So you see that when I when I talk, mm -hmm. I explain what how yes. to get what to get. So yes. even though they turn off the voice, then they can read. That's great. But if they cannot read yeah. it, then still. <laughs> yeah. You may want to consider after you teach this five times, you may want to consider putting your effort into the open textbook. You know, initiative. <laughs> so more oh. people can use your effort. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very popular thing. But this one is uh, based on the textbook I adopted. Yeah. So it's not mine work. It's oh, not mine. So it's somebody okay. else's work, but okay. I convert it into a video version. So it's not. I can do it, but there are hundreds of books. No matter how I write it, somebody going <laughs> to claim that you copy mine. Right. <laughs> because this subject is right. yeah. 100 yes. years old. Yeah. So yeah. there are a million different textbooks. <laughs> right. okay, so it's yeah. writing yeah. nice one. So that textbook is eighth edition right now. Written nineteen sixties. It's still going on. <laughs> so uh, these days people try to write it, but I, I really doubt they can write really yeah. nice book because it's it, it it's done the subject is over hundred years old. Mm -hmm. So getting new material is very difficult. So only they can do is more uh, in adopt technology into the class, yeah. but material won't change. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, the, so these are the even though they don't have my, they, so it's, it's still going on. But they, they, they don't. They, if they understand the material, that's fine. But if they, if they don't, then when I'm talking, I highlight yeah, here. Yeah, that's there, very so helpful. Hopefully, yes. they follow. Yeah. Yes. All right. Are there any other questions?